Welcome everybody to JBS Craft Corner. In celebration with this past Earth Day, we'll be doing two different crafts involving recycled tin cans. Now, one of these crafts will be a bird feeder, while the other craft will be a mason bee house. Now, both of these crafts can be used in your backyard or patio gardens to attract pollinators to the area. Again, a link to the instructions and materials will be posted in the description below. Now, let's get started with this craft, shall we? Now, let's go over the supplies for our bird feeder craft. The very first thing you're going to need is a recycled tin can. You want your recycled tin can to be about 22 to 24 ounces large. A perfectly good example of this would be a can of stewed tomatoes. Next, you will need to have some sort of bird feed. You will need to have some paint along with some paint brushes. You will need to have a pair of scissors along with a pen or a pencil. You will need some string. You will need some craft foam. You will need a hot glue gun along with some spare hot glue sticks. And then finally, you're going to need some sort of uh, bamboo skewer. So, the very first step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your tin can, you're going to bind that opening, and you put the opening uh, down onto your craft foam. And then using a pen or pencil, go ahead and trace around the opening of your tin can. All right? Once you have your tin can traced out, you can go ahead and you can start to draw some flower petals all the way outside that uh, circle that you just drew. And it should begin to look like this. Now your uh, flower can be in any way that you please. After you've uh, drawn those flower petals, you're going to want to go ahead and draw a smaller circle on the inside. You want that circle to be about a half an inch smaller. After you have this drawn, you can go ahead and start to cut that out. So we're going to cut the outside of the flower first. Alright, let's go ahead and get that cut. Alright, so now your flower should be cut out like so. Next, we're going to cut out the smaller circle on the inside. Alright, and now your flowers should look like this. Now what we're going to do uh, to cut out next is that we're going to cut out some tabs and we're just going to make some small little slits all the way up to that outer circle that you just drew. And there you go, it should look like this. So we have these tabs to work with as we glue the flower to the opening of our can, right? So now that we have our flower done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start to paint this can. Now that our can is dry, I've got these leaves painted onto my can. We're going to take the flower that we just uh, cut out of the craft foam and we're going to glue it onto the opening of the can. So in order to do that, we're going to take some hot glue and we're going to hot glue around that circle that we just drew on our flower a while back. So I'm going to take my hot glue and hot glue around that circle that we just drew. And you want to hot glue a generous amount of glue on there to make sure we get the can to stick. Alright, then you going to take your can and press it into that hot glue. Press it nice and firm and allow the glue to stick. Alright. So now that the flour is sticking to the can, we're going to glue down the tabs that we made a while back as well. I'm just going to take some hot glue, put some hot glue on the inside of the can, and fold that tab down. And 
that's what we're doing. We're gluing the tabs down to make sure that the flower is secure and in place. Alright, now that your flower has been glued and placed into the opening of your can, like so, what we're going to do is we're going to take our bamboo skewer or any other kind of wooden stick and we're going to glue it onto the inside of our can to act as a perch for the birds who come by to eat the seed out of this uh, feeder right here. We're going to take our bamboo stick, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue that. Alright. And then glue it right into the inside of our can like so. And now we have a perch for the birds. Next, we're going to take our string and we're going to create a hanger for our bird feeder to kind of hang off of any hook that you might have outdoors. So I'm going to take your string and I'm going to wrap it twice. Once um, towards the backhand side and then second towards the front hand side. And then you want to make sure your knots are up towards the top of your bird feeder while the perch is down at the bottom. Right. And then go ahead and trim off any of the excess string. And if you want to keep this secure, you can go ahead and hot glue the string in place that way it doesn't shift around. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with mine. And there you have it. Your bird feeder is done. You can go, you can go ahead and fill this up with seed and hang, hang it outside and watch for any of the birds to come by. Let's go over the supplies for our mason bee house. The very first thing that you're going to need is a recycled tin can. Now this tin should be a 15 or 16 ounce tin can. A perfect example will be a can of beans. Next, you will also need some construction paper, or you can also use some spare newspaper. You will also need some paint, along with some paint brushes, as well as a paint palette or a paper plate. You will also need some zip ties. You will need a ruler, along with a pencil, and a pair of scissors. You will also need a hot glue gun, along with some spare hot glue sticks. And then finally, you will need two wooden dowels of two different sizes varying from one quarter inch in size to a half inch in size. Now that we've gone over the supplies, let's go, go ahead and get started with this craft. Now the very first step, you will need to grab a parent or guardian to assist you with the step. What you need to do with the parent or guardian is that you need to drill two holes on the back of your can. These two holes is where you're going to put your zip tie through so that you can mount this mason bee house up against a pole or something like that in your garden. Once you have those two holes drilled, um, you can go ahead and start painting your can to however it is that you like. So I'm going to start painting my can and I'm going to draw some cute little bees on there. Alright, I'm going to take my... Now that our tin can is dry, I have these beautiful little bees on my tin can. We can go ahead and we can thread this zip tie through these holes on the back. So I'm going to take my zip tie, we're going to thread it on through. Right, so now that we got our zip tie onto the back of our can, Next, we're going to go and make the paper straws that go on the inside of the can. I'm going to set that to the side. And I'm going to go and grab my construction paper. So you can use your construction paper or you can use newspaper. And what we want to do is that we want to uh, cut strips of this paper. And we want the width of the strip to be the same length as this can. So let's go ahead and measure our can. My can is about four and a quarter inches in length. So I want my paper strips to be about four and a quarter inches in width. Maybe even a little shorter. 
So let's go ahead and measure that out. All right. So here's our paper strip, it's four and a quarter inches in width. Um, we can go ahead and make these strips a little bit shorter. I want them to be at least five inches in length. So let's go ahead and cut that down to about five inches at least. So if my paper is about 12 inches, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in half to about six inches. So now that we have our paper strips, we need to go ahead and roll these paper strips into straws. So again, using those dowels, the quarter inch dowel and the half, the half inch dowel. If you don't have any kind of wood dowels, you can always use a pencil like so or a marker to wrap uh, these paper around to make the straws. All right, so I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna wrap it around the larger dowel. So what I'm going to do for wrapping is that I'm going to put my dowel about one third in through the paper. Then I'm going to fold my paper up, as you can see, and then I'm going to start rolling my paper into straws, alright? So now you should have a little bit of paper left over, we're going to go ahead and put some glue onto this paper. So using a hot glue gun. Um, go ahead and glue that paper. Alright, and then continue rolling, finish off that straw. And now you have a paper straw. And this paper straw is what's going to go inside of our tin can to make the little nesting areas for all of our little mason bees. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some more of these paper tubes. All right, so I've got some more paper already cut out. Again, you're gonna take your paper and put your dowel at about one third up your paper. You're gonna fold your paper over and then you're gonna start to roll glue and then continue to roll it close. All right. Now you want to use at least two different sizes of uh, paper straws to add some variety to our little tin cans. So I've got these smaller straws as well compared to the larger straws. And that's what we're waiting for. Now you want to continue this process until you can fill up the entirety of that can. Alright, so let's go ahead and start making more paper straws. Again, we're going to fold up and then we're going to roll. Glue and then roll shut. And continue until you have enough paper straws to fill your tin can. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead. Alright, now that we have all of our paper straws completed, rolled up, and ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hot glue these to the inside of our tin can so that we can make the housing, the nesting areas for our little bees. Right, so in order to do that, we're going to take your straw and I'll put some hot glue on the back of your straw. And you're going to just press it in, glue it up, and then it should land in nicely. Now we're going to continue to fill that up until it's full and packed with all of those straws. Alright. And you kind of want to vary the sizes inside as well. And there you have it. Your mason bee house is complete. Now, 
To put this up outside, you're going to use these zip ties to wrap it around a post or something of the sort. And you want your mason bee house to be no higher than 6 inches off the ground. So if you have a spoke in the garden bed, that's a really good spot to go ahead and put this mason bee house up. Attract those pollinators and they can help pollinate your flowers and all of your other crops that you might be growing in your backyard gardens. Thank you very much for watching!